of the judicial system, which is what uh, the former attorney general, Mr. Uh, Abubakar Malamia, has said, has been accused of. Why do you say the former attorney general? No, he ceased to be attorney general since Friday. No. no what, what's he the, says he never resigned. No, it's not what he and says. The Chris Ngigi, uh, senator, uh, also said he did not resign. No, you see, and I, that brings us to another issue because <laughs> you went out there and you say no. The two of them have already sacked themselves, and they say no. They did not resign. See, it's not. It's not what they are saying because what they are doing now <laughs> reminds one of what you call C type ministers of the First Republic. And I, I, I was just being told this morning by a, a friend of mine, you know, comrade of mine, a journalist, who reminded me that the Daily Times was looking for the best headline on that occasion. I mean, the when the government of Akitala was sacked, and that the the way the uh, uh, Daily Times. Decided to cut the headline. Akintola taku. taku. That is what is going on. Now, there are two issues here. There are some ministers who were reported to have resigned in line with the directive of the president. If you are interested in politics, please quit my government. And they resigned. Another group did not resign. But what the president did in his wisdom is to find out from the APC. Who are among my ministers have submitted a declaration of intention or nomination form? And he got a list of nine of them. The president summoned all of them. Please, can you come to the villa for your send-off ceremony? And they rushed to the villa. At the, at the brief ceremony, the president thanked them for the services rendered to the nation. The president wished them success in their political career and other future, you know, endeavor. Right? And the president announced there, I am going to replace you guys very soon. I am going to announce the replacement of new ministers very soon to replace you. At the ceremony, on behalf of all of them, the nine of them, Mr. Godwin Apabio, the former minister, immediate past minister of Niger Delta, thanked the president on behalf of all of them. I thank you, Mr. President, for giving us the opportunity to serve the nation in various capacities. Now that we are stepping aside, we are going out now, sir, we are going to become your disciples. That was the end of the matter. At the end of the program, the presidency issued a statement to inform Nigerians of the decision of the government to relieve the following nine people of their ministerial positions. Their names were listed. The last photograph, the farewell picture taken with the president, was published in the media. That is the end. In other words, those who resigned, who sent letters of Designation. I think one professor of law was elected to have said yesterday, oh, the president has accepted. Therefore, that's not talking profound respect. That's not talking law. Section 306 of Section 2 provides that once the letter is delivered and it's received, you cease to be a minister. Two, for those who did not submit a letter, the fact that the president invited you without putting any gun on your head to a farewell program. The fact that you participated in the farewell program, the fact that on your behalf, Mr. Uh, 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 Goswil Apabio, thank the president for allowing you to serve. And that, sir, we are on our way out now. We are going to serve your interests. We are going to promote Buharism. Now that we are going out, that is the end of the matter. In other words, if you didn't submit a letter, the president has sacked you. That is the law today. So for you now to say, you are parading yourself. I, I, Dr. Abad, I want to believe that this, I mean, these fellows are aware that they are out. But I think they are fought till tomorrow. Hence, in the release, in the statement by the presidency, they were referred to as outgoing ministers, the nine of them.
including Mr. Boba Kamalami SN and Dr. Chris Ngige. You know, Dr. Chris Ngige, even with profound respect, arrogantly said a day before the validity service, validity ceremony, the president will have to define for me what it means by uh, uh, resignation. That is the Minister of Labor. I mean, I was the Minister of Labor of Nigeria, saying that he didn't understand, the medical doctor, they didn't understand what resignation means. But I, I think somebody should have directed his attention to Section 306 of Section 2 of the Constitution. Well, but in, in fairness to Senator Chris Ngike, he says this resignation that you talk about is a figment of your imagination. No, he put a statement out there. He said what he, he said. He didn't resign. No, he said what he said is that he will consult. He will the, consult the, the president. president the president and also his constituents. His constituency did not. He wasn't appointed the minister by his constituency. The man who appointed him a minister has sacked him by bringing him to a farewell ceremony. Thank you for serving me. Please, I wish you well in your political career. And if you are no longer contesting the presidency, I wish you success in your future endeavor. What do you want? And on his behalf, and on behalf of others. No, no, I want us to be fair. Okay. To be fair to who? No, it's the president who has the powers to hire and fire. He has fired. So, no, if, if the minister... By conduct. Now, no, if the ministers now say, we are not going anywhere, we are here. That is what I mean then by... Then the is on the president. That is what I mean by seat tight ministers. The president is being... He's been embarrassed. And the country is being ridiculed. And we are saying, there is also what we call morality. In section 45 of the constitution, you can't talk of your fundamental human right. To remain a minister. It's not a human right to remain a minister. If the man who appointed you has sent you packing in a rather polite way, I think you now want to be embarrassed. We now will expect the president to say, sorry, we have, we, I, I decided to bid you farewell. What are you talking about? But, but I want to assume. Dr. Abati, that they still have to tomorrow, since the president gave them a date. And in the speech of the president, mind you, he said, some of you have resigned. I'm expecting the resignation for that, in line with my directive. However, I am thanking you for serving the nation meritoriously. And I wish you well, wherever you decide to go. Some two people now say, oh, I'm sorry, I want to lose my 100 million. Nomination fee. I want to lose my 50 million nomination fee. I no longer want to resign. If you are now applying for those jobs, Afre, the president has no discretion on the matter. It's not your voluntary decision to remain a minister at all costs. The president will now have to send your names to the Senate, which is like dissolving a cabinet. If you want to be reappointed, the president will have to invoke Section 147 of the Constitution by sending your name, nomination to the Senate for a fresh screening. Okay. That, that's the it's law. good you mentioned this uh, 100 million. Yes. Now, yes. the people who pay the 100 million, they say they are willing to, to lose the 100 million. But they million. have lost it. Yeah, but you say it's illegal, no. unconstitutional, no. to I, start with, and no. it's immoral no. to pay 100 million. Oh, yeah, but they have, they have but it's their money. No, they have agreed to pay. How do you know it's their money? When you are told that people are contributing for them, no, because they could not own up that we are submitting, we are paying 100 million naira to buy a farm. They then gather people to pay on their behalf. So, but they are saying, we are losing the money. The man, uh, the, um, Mr. Abubakar Salami, I said, I don't want to be a governor again. I lose my nomination fee. Uh, Dr. Chris Ngigi said, I don't want to be a president again. I don't want to be the president of Nigeria. I lose my 100 million. And the money will have to go to the... Of course, it's supposed to go to the political party. But the EFCC is already investigating. Yeah, but is, it, is it constitutional? Is it legal no, to I, pay 100 million, I, I, 40 million? I have said it before now, publicly, that it is illegal to impose the sum of 100 million or 40 million on aspirants you know, for a purpose, according to them, to wield out and to discourage those who may just want to populate, you know, uh, the process. No, that's not the way the Constitution is framed. The Constitution is saying you shall not exclude anybody on the ground of fortune, class, 
ideology or sex. Section 40. Section 42. Article 2 of the African Charter has also prohibited discrimination. And Article 13 of the African Charter, on the man and people's right hand, provides that every African, every Nigerian, shall have equal access to the government of his country, either to contest election or through people. So the government shall be so formed. But to now say, in order to discourage people, including retired professors, including retired judges and others whose pension is not paid. You now say, sorry, since you cannot mobilize 100 million, we cannot have your services at the highest level in our country. It, it is immoral. Because in the country today, the minimum wage is 30,000 naira. So you cannot ask aspirants to pay 100 million or 40 million, which is why this gentleman, including some of them, who are assumed to be billionaires, are now saying, please, we can't raise the money ourselves. So the money is being raised for us. Because they can't justify before Nigerians that you are paying a hundred million or 40 million to buy a form. So, but they have, they have these guys who bought the forms have now said, we don't need the money. I want to remain a minister because this is a game of chance. I'm not sure I will, I will win that election. So let me remain where I am. Because I still have about one, one year you know, to do what I'm doing. <laughs> I help myself, you know. So I, I think that is what is going on. But it's too late in the day. Because, uh, uh, Ruben, that's what you call a stop in law. Yes. If you make the whole world to believe, and the president to believe, that you have left the government, you are stopped from turning back to say, sorry, I'm still here. I'm still ready for service. They have read.